Today, I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. ChatGPT just dropped Atlas. Perplexity fired back with Comet, and the internet is losing it. These two AI tools are going head to head. And honestly, it's not even close. One of them is actually useful. The other one is just hype. I tested both of them for hours, and what I found is crazy. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one to use and which one is a complete waste of time. ChatGPT Atlas versus Perplexity Comet is insane. And I'm about to show you which one actually works and which one is just smoke and mirrors. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. So here's the deal. OpenAI just launched ChatGPT Atlas. It's supposed to be this new search feature that changes everything. Then Perplexity comes out of nowhere with Comet, and everyone's asking the same question, which one is better? I spent hours testing both, and what I found is going to save you so much time because one of these tools is actually amazing, and the other one is basically useless for most people. Let me break it down. The ChatGPT Atlas is OpenAI's new search model. It's built right into ChatGPT. You can ask it questions, and it searches the web in real time. It pulls in fresh data. It gives you sources, and it formats everything in a clean way. Sounds good, right? Now, Perplexity Comet is different. It's not just a search feature. It's a whole new model. Perplexity says it's faster than GPT-4, it's more accurate, and it's designed specifically for searching and research. So which one actually wins? Here's what I found. ChatGPT Atlas is good if you're already using ChatGPT for everything. It's convenient. You don't have to switch apps. You ask a question and how it searches without you doing anything extra. But here's the problem. It's slow, like really slow. Every time I asked Atlas to search something, it took forever. I'm talking 10 to 15 seconds just to get a basic answer. And sometimes the sources it pulled were not even relevant. Now, Perplexity Comet, on the other hand, this thing is fast, like crazy fast. I asked it the same questions I asked Atlas, and Comet gave me answers in three to five seconds, way faster. And the sources were better. Comet pulled in more relevant links. It organized everything cleaner and it gave me exactly what I needed without the fluff. Here's another thing. Comet has focus modes. You can tell it to search academic sources only, or you can tell it to search Reddit and forums, or you can tell it to search new sites. Atlas doesn't have that. It just searches everything and hopes for the best. So if you're doing research, Comet wins by a mile. But wait, there's more. Atlas has one advantage, it's built into ChatGPT. So if you're using ChatGPT for writing, coding, or brainstorming, you don't have to leave, you can search and then use that info right away in your next prompt. Comet makes you switch apps, you have to go to Perplexity, search, then copy and paste back into ChatGPT if you want to use it there. So here's my take, if you're doing deep research, use Comet, it's faster, more accurate, and gives you better control. If you're already in ChatGPT and need a quick search without switching apps, use Atlas. But honestly, for most people, Comet is the better tool. Now, let me show you how to actually use these. First, ChatGPT Atlas. You need ChatGPT Plus or Pro. You can't use this on the free version. Once you're in, you just ask a question like normal. If ChatGPT thinks it needs to search the web, it will. But here's a tip. If you want to force it to search, just say search the web for this. Now, for Perplexity Comet, you go to Perplexity's website or app. Comet is their default model now. You don't have to switch anything, just type your question. And here's the cool part, you can choose a focus mode. Click on the focus button before you search. Pick academic if you want research papers. Pick Reddit if you want real people's opinions. Pick news if you want recent articles. So here's the bottom line. Comet is faster, more accurate, and better for research. Atlas is more convenient if you're already in ChatGPT, but if you want the best results, use Comet. Now here's where it gets interesting. You can actually use both together. Here's what I do. I use Comet to do my research. I find all the best sources and info. Then I copy that into ChatGPT. And I use ChatGPT to write content, create outlines or brainstorm ideas. This combo is unbeatable. All right, now let me talk about something huge. If you wanna scale your business and actually make money with AI, you need to join my AI Profit Boardroom. This is where I show you exactly how to use AI to get more customers, save hundreds of hours, and automate your entire business. We've got case studies, workflows, and proven strategies that are making people thousands of dollars every single month. You can check it out at school.com slash AI Profit Lab 7462 slash about. Trust me, this is the best investment you'll make this year. Now, back to Atlas versus Comet. Let's talk about pricing. $20 a month, that gets you Atlas plus all the other chat GPT features. 
Perplexity has a free version, but if you want unlimited searches and comments advanced features, you need Perplexity Pro. That's also $20 a month, so they cost the same. But here's the thing, Perplexity Pro gives you way more searches. Chat GPT Plus limits how many times you can use GPT-4 and Atlas. With Perplexity, you get unlimited comment searches. Now let's talk about accuracy. I tested both on some tricky questions. Comet got it right more often. It pulled better sources. It gave more complete answers. Atlas sometimes missed important details. Comet stayed current. It found the latest information every time. Here's something else. Comet has better citation. When it gives you an answer, it shows you exactly where each piece of info came from. You can click on any part of the answer and see the source. Atlas shows sources at the bottom, but it's not always clear which source said what. Now let's talk about user interface. Atlas is built into ChatGPT. So it looks like a normal ChatGPT conversation. Comet has its own interface. It's designed specifically for search. You see your question at the top, related questions on the side, and sources organized below your answer. I actually prefer Comet's layout. It's easier to dig deeper into topics. Here's a use case for each tool. Use Atlas when you're already working in ChatGPT. You're writing something. You need a quick fact. You don't want to leave your workflow. Use Comet when you're starting from scratch. You're researching a new topic. You need deep information. You want the best sources. This is how I use both tools every single day. Most people don't understand this. They think they have to pick one, but the smart move is using both. Comet is getting updates all the time. Perplexity is pushing new features every few weeks when they just added the ability to search your own files. You can upload PDFs and search through them. That's huge. Atlas hasn't gotten any major updates since launch. Let me talk about mobile. Both have mobile apps. I tested both on my phone. Comet is faster on mobile, way faster. Atlas takes forever on mobile. Sometimes it times out. Comet loads in seconds. If you do research on your phone, Comet wins easily. Here's my final verdict. For most people, Comet is better. It's faster, more accurate, better organized, and it's getting better every month. Atlas is good if you never want to leave chat GPT, but even then, the extra 10 seconds to switch to perplexity is worth it for the better results. Now, if you want to take your AI game to the next level, you need to check out my free AI money lab. Inside, you'll get 50 plus free AI tools and 200 plus chat GPT SEO prompts. You'll learn how to make money with AI agents. You'll get 1000 plus free N8N workflows. You'll get 200 plus chat GPT prompts and you'll get a full blueprint to generate thousands of leads free with AI. You'll also get access to our free AI community, free AI course and proven AI case studies. This is everything you need to start making money with AI today. The link is in the description. If you want to learn more about using AI to grow your business, make sure you join my AI Profit Boardroom. We've got hundreds of members already making money with the strategies I teach. The link is in the description and don't forget to grab your free access to the AI Money Lab. Thanks for watching. Julian Goldie reads every single comment, so drop a comment below and let me know which tool you're going to try first. Atlas or Comet, I want to hear from you. And if you found this helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more AI updates. I'll see you in the next one.